Far Cry 5 is the biggest, most open Far Cry to date, giving you free reign to explore the highways and wilderness of Hope County, Montana, where you'll make life tough for the cultists of the project at Eden's Gate by blowing up their stuff and uniting the locals as a resistance. How you do this is entirely up to you. Shit, nice move! More or less from the get-go, the entirety of Hope County is yours to explore however you like, whether by truck, helicopter, or fast travel wingsuit airdrop. And there's a lot to discover. Poking around its wooded trails might reveal prepper caches protected by puzzles or challenges or wolverines. Or you might find signposts that reveal picturesque cliffs from which you can go wingsuiting. You might even discover a plaque commemorating the impossible deeds of 70s daredevil Clutch Nixon, at which point you'll be able to, say, recreate his literally on fire rally run through sprinkler checkpoints that delay your inevitable explosion. As with any Far Cry game, however, some of the best moments come from the unpredictability of the world itself. When you've got cultists, vehicles, fire, and extremely violent animals all running amok at once, it only takes a second for a mission to go from high-tension stealth to berserk carnage because that incendiary arrow missed a cult VIP and hit a bull instead. Far Cry 5 also expands one of the best parts of earlier games, scouting out enemy outposts, methodically hunting down all of their defenders, and claiming the compounds for your side. Not only are outposts everywhere in Hope County, clearly marked by columns of black smoke, but all across the map you'll find prominent citizens under siege by the cult. Name's Grace. Helping them push back and reclaim what's theirs will convince them to join you in battle, or at least give you more intel about the cult's activities. As you reclaim territory from the cult, destroy their property, and generally interfere with their plans, you'll fill a resistance meter for the region you're in. Each region of Hope County has four levels of resistance, and when you hit a new tier, the cult will step up its armaments and tactics. Once a rebel's property is back under their control, you'll be able to recruit them to follow you into battle as a gun for hire, giving them orders with the D-pad and using their skills to help push back the cultists. In addition to the unique story characters, guns for hire also include locals looking to fight back, and each outpost you liberate will unlock at least one fresh-faced combatant who will hang around, ready and eager to watch your back. You can run with two guns for hire at once, and they're perfect for tackling the side quest that each outpost opens up, which will net you money to spend on more ammo and better guns. Guns for hire aren't just good in a fight either. They can also revive you if you fall in battle, and you'll need to do the same for them, which can get a little challenging under heavy fire. Don't let it bother you too much if you can't reach them in time though. They won't die, but they'll also be unavailable for a while as they recover from their injuries, after which you can recruit them again. Also, be aware that any cultists you take down but don't kill can also be revived by their comrades, so be sure to finish them off good. I hurt so bad! Far Cry 5 is an adventure you can pursue on your terms, and the fact that everything can go sideways in a second because you ran too close to a seemingly harmless turkey is a big part of the fun. Hope County is wild and unpredictable, and you can find out how wild when Far Cry 5 launches on March 27, 2018 on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more on Far Cry 5. Folks, it's a beautiful sunny weekend in Hope County. How will you be spending your time outdoors? <laughs>